So hi and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Um, today we're going to take a look at a firmware update for the Netgear R7000 router. This is the Advanced Tomato update or a DDWRT or DWORTS firmware for custom firmware. We're going to be going from 3.4138 to 3.4140. As you can see here it's told me there's an update available. I'm just going to show you very quickly how to do that. It's very easy. So first thing you need to do is log into your router. It shouldn't matter which version you're on. You should be able to go from any version to this latest version. But if you're not already customized, you'll need to run through the basics of installing the custom firmware first. So the first thing you need to do is click on the click here to find or advancedtomato.com and go to that URL and go to your downloads. And here you can see all the different routers that have firmwares available on this version. There are different types of firmwares. I prefer this one at the moment. Gives me the functionality that I want. You need to find the router that you're going to update because this will say is different routers that can be applied here. And we want the Netgear R7000 is the version that I was on, or I am on at the moment. And this is the version we're going to be going to here. So you click the change log, you can see here uh, what updates have been applied. It's not the easiest to read in Notepad. So this now is where it starts to get tricky. I always pick the VPN version because I have an open VPN running. And this is what I'm going to be uploading now. There are different versions. I'll check which one you want to apply to, like the AIO or initial. The initial is the one that you customize first from the base default install. So when you buy the Netgear Reader, you'll need to run the initial firmware and then you can run any of the custom ones. Once you've got the firmware downloaded in your download folder, it should be a TRX file and you need to upload it. One of the other things to do first is to back up your firmware under administrator. You can see down here also, the firmware that I'm running here, the 3.4138 VPN 6.4 is the version I'm running at the moment. Um, and you can go to configuration and you can back up your configuration, which I recommend. So click backup, you wanna keep the file anyway. And now you'll have a tomato, your version and .config file saved in case you wipe any of your configuration because you can do quite a lot of things with these and it can be a bit of a pain if you lose all your settings. So then we need to go into upgrade here under administration tab as well. You need to select the image that we just got. There's the file I'm going to upload to, click open, and then you just want to click update. And I'll wait for the time to continue. This should now update your firmware. So once the firmware is done, you'll see now your bottom left, you'll see the version has changed to 3.4140. You should be ready to rock and roll. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.